Hey Floss Tube, it's Julie the Gulf Coast Stitcher back for a stitchy update and shop update and just to check in with you guys. Um, let's see. I don't even know where to start. You you guys know. I, I should totally have notes. I actually do have a few notes at the bottom of this big giant pile of shop haul. So many of you have placed special orders with me and done all of that. So I'm keeping a book. It did say customer book, but yeah. So I'm keeping this pretty notebook of all of the, the special things that everybody's wanting and all of the waiting lists and all of the special requests to see if I can find something. So if you have requested something for me and you haven't heard back from me, please message me again. Don't feel like you're being a bother at all. Odds are that when I first, when odds are that I've just missed it. When I first started this, Honestly, I was like, oh, I'll have a few special requests here and there, nothing that I can't take care of, it won't be a big deal, and now um, lots and lots of special orders, which is wonderful. That's what that's what I want to be here for. But that being said, you know, I'm, I'm human, so if I have missed something or you haven't heard back from me, please, please, please message me again. Um, I should have everything in this book, but you know how that goes. People are human. Um, a couple things. I did take a few notes. So, new floss tubers to me. I have recently found Jeannie Schwartz. I love her. She's adorable. She hasn't been feeling well. I think she has three videos out. I've watched two and three. I need to go back and watch one. Um, she'd been feeling kind of under weather. So, Jeannie, if you're watching me, I hope you're feeling better. Her style in stitching is she's into, she's doing a lot of like Lizzie Kate and Little House. And I don't know if she's a brand new stitcher because like I said, I didn't watch the first video. But I see a lot of myself in her and that that's how, th those are the charts I started with. And then quickly things evolved. And she does have a lot of finishes. So she may not be new at all. That might just be her style. Like I said, forgive me if I'm out of turn. I need to watch um, episode number one on her floss tube channel. So I hope you're feeling better if you're watching this genie and keep on stitching girl and keep sharing your progress. We love seeing it. It's great. The other person I found was Amber Michelle. She was on her first floss tube and honestly she's a natural. I thought it I thought she did very well. She talks about a little bit of knitting and some other things um, but she did great. So Amber Michelle I will link your video below. I hope that you get lots of watches. Um, she is in the San Antonio area, so all the, of my San Antonio stitchy friends, she's really looking forward to finding some community, maybe not only on Floss 2, but also in real life with stitching. So if you are in the San Antonio area and want to hook up with her, I'll link her below because she was really, she's really hoping to find, you know, someone to stitch with. I think she said she tried to get her sister to stitch and she tried to get a coworker to stitch. And you know how when you're so excited about it, you want everybody else to do it too. So um, my San Antonio friends, please uh, look her up, see maybe you'll bump into each other. That's what's awesome about this community is it happens that way. I'm sitting in a different spot in the kitchen with the window behind me and I have a light on me. So if colors are weird, that's what's up. I'm trying different things. It We've had another cool front, which I know my northern friends do not feel sorry for me because it's like 50 degrees. And I know a lot of you would love 50 degrees, but 50 degrees on the water is chilly. So I'm still not getting to go outside, but before long, it'll be the dog days of summer and I will definitely be there. So those are the two um, new floss tubers to me. Of course, I've loved watching um, Snug Harbor. I talked about them last week. Um, Country Stitchers, we've talked about them too. They are awesome. Um, so many great floss tube channels out there. And I don't have a ton of time to watch anymore. I watch in the mornings while I'm packing. And I've been binge watching some Ginger, Ginger Gerald um, it's great to have his Q&A on while I'm doing other things because I don't feel I don't have to look up a whole lot and if I don't feel like I'm missing too much if I'm busy doing other things. So that's the life of the working mother student person that I am is multitasking. Um, I just want to go over a couple questions that have come up via my most of them are through Facebook or email. Um, I don't store credit card information. So if you're shopping at the shop, 
and you make a purchase, you're going to be charged the shipping that's associated with that purchase. And my shipping, I don't make any money on shipping. I'm not, I'm not one of those shops that, um, we've talked about that before. I'm not going to, you know, discount the charts and then upcharge the shipping. It, it is what it is. I think I'm $3.50 up to 50 bucks, and then it jumps up a little bit from there. So it's very reasonable and you get it very quickly. But I can't combine orders because for security purposes, the web hosting site that I use does not give me access to your credit cards, which I don't want access to them. I think that's wonderful. I, I love that that's how that's handled. Um, so I don't have access to your credit card information. So unfortunately, I can't combine orders. Um, I can't, you know, delete your shipping once you've once you've clicked that buy it again or you, you know, purchase again. So just know that um, I understand that stuff moves very quickly through the shop, especially after these floss tube videos. But I mean, that's just the way it is. That's a good problem for for us all to have. I mean, that we know that that people are out there shopping. Now, again, if 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 it's still on the site and it says out of stock, that means I'm planning on replenishing it. And if you'd like it, shoot me an email. It's the best way to do it. And then I'll put you down on the list. I'll send you an email with a PayPal prior to listing it on the shop when it returns. If I remove it from the website, if you saw it there and now it's gone, then it's not coming back in stock. Either I can't get it or it's not, you know, it's not available or it's just something that didn't move very well. But always reach out to me if there's something you're looking for. I'll do what I can. So I don't store credit card information. So I had a few people, I think, kind of impulse shop like we do. And they, like, immediately um, emailed me and said, I just made three purchases in a row, but I only want to pay shipping one time. So in those cases, what I did was do a PayPal refund. But there are fees for me for that. So just just don't check out until you're done shopping. And if you if you can help it. That would be really helpful for me and for you. It'll save you money and, and headache. And I, unfortunately, like I said, I can't combine orders or go back and add anything to your existing order. Um, another question I get all the time is, I'm new to stitching. What do you recommend? Well, that is such a hard question for me to answer. And let me tell you why. I have no idea what your... Um, why am I saying um so much today? Hold on a second. Let me have a sip of this. I don't have any way of knowing what your tastes are. If you like whimsical or primitive, I, I can recommend things within those specific, um, you know, I don't want to say genres, types of stitches. But to just say I'm new, what should I do? I would recommend that you start small. I would recommend that you start on Ada. And that's about the best I can tell you. Um, I have stitch counts on almost all the charts, so if you're in the shop and you see a chart that you like and you click on it in the description, it should say 70 by 70 or 70 by 75, and that would be considered a small chart, and that would be a good one to start with. I will tell you, yeah, that's all I'll tell you, because it's up to you. If you want some guidance, I'll be glad to help, but I need a little more information than just what should I stitch, because... I would tell you, as Christine Slaughter would say, stitch all of the things, right? Don't be scared to move to even weave. If you're stitching on Ada, if you're stitching on 14 count Ada, a 28 count even weave like Monaco or Lugana is the same size stitch. You just skip over a hole. And you can start small with something small, with a small chart, and start it and see if you like it because it's rare that people go backwards from that in my experience. I mean, there there are Ada stitchers who love Ada. But most often people graduate from it in my experience and then they don't look back. And then after you fall down that even weave rabbit hole, then you fall down the linen rabbit hole. And I'll be glad to give you any advice I can about that. Is this I hope this light's not weird. Like I said, I just tried something different because it's kind of my house being wooden, as you can see, is kind of dark unless I'm outside. It's I'm not going outside. Um, I went out to take care of the birds and the squirrels, which I got some great pictures of today. So I'll be posting those on probably on the community page and maybe Instagram. But it's really dark in here. And I always feel like because it's dark, it looks a little grainy. So I'm trying something new with this light and it may be it may be too much, but it'll be OK, right? Um, next question is, this 
when people <laughs> email me and say, this chart says out of stock still, I restock the store four days a week, pretty much. So it may be that it came in stock and then it went back out before you saw it, let, before you came back to see it. So please just shoot me an email. Say, you know what? I really love this Kathy Barrick chart. When you get it in, can you please PayPal me? And I will be happy to do so. Now, with your PayPal, I talked about combining orders. So I can't combine orders on the, on the site, but if you have an existing order on the site, and it hasn't shipped yet and you want to pick up some additional charts or you want me to hold that order until your new stuff comes in, I can PayPal you for chart only unless your shipping goes up because of the you know the the amount of, of charts that you're purchasing. And then I can adjust that. So that that's been working really well. So there's always a way, just communicate with me. Um, but I can't combine orders. And I'm not even sorry about it because I don't want access to your credit cards. I, I just don't feel good about that. So I like that it's done that way. I use um, PayPal, of course, and then the Square software. So Square runs everything. They charge me a fee. They process your order. It de They deposit your money into my account. I don't even know where it comes from. It just tells me that you paid with Square. I don't know if you paid with a MasterCard, a Visa, Discover, whatever they take. I don't know any of that and don't want to. So that's how that works. So that's about it for questions. Um, I've had lots of requests lately for fully kitted charts, and here's the deal with that. If it's gel arts or weeks or classic color works floss that you're wanting and you're willing to wait for it, because like I said, it takes them seven to ten days to ship to me, I, I can do that. I'm going to pre pre bill you for that prior to my ordering it because I don't want to be stuck with a bunch of random floss that I may not ever need for a chart and may not ever sell to anybody else. So, um, that that is something that we can do linen and fabric i'm just i did do a few special orders when the short store first opened but i'm already getting too many weird cuts of fabric so i'm just not in the fabric game unless you in you know with rare exception unless you're willing to purchase a whole yard or perhaps a half yard because that's how i have to purchase it is in, a, is in a whole yard so imagine i purchase a whole yard and you want a quarter well, then I'm left holding the rest. And could I use it to enhance my own stash? Probably, but I'm telling you, I've got plenty of fabric to last my lifetime. So that's a little bit, you know, I don't like saying no. I'm a people pleaser. I'm someone who believes in delivering service, but at the same time, I need to know my limitations so that I can keep going on with off the awesome service for you guys. So um, no to DMC because I have to order that by the box and... I have plenty of DMC of my own, and if you just need five or six DMC colors, I don't want to have to order a box of each of the colors to do that. And DMC is so readily available. You can buy DMC at Walmart, I think, still. I don't know. They did have it at Walmart. Um, Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, all of those places have DMC. So, um, yeah. So, Gentle Arts, Classic Color Works of Weeks, I'll be happy to order for you. Or if you want a big old piece of fabric, I'll be happy to order that for you, too. Um, picture this plus and like side linens both run pretty far out. Like f I think it says allow four to six weeks for processing. So I haven't ordered from either one of them. I haven't needed to. I have plenty of linen in my own stash. And then I like, um, the R&R. &R. I like r and &R. I like weeks. I like Dames of the Needle and all of those are available for me. Um, through distributors, not all of them, but those are the, those are the, brands and they have a small selection of their colors. I've recently ordered some Exude uh, linen and I'm super stoked to get it. I can't wait till it gets here. But then I just saw in her Etsy shop that she started a sale and I, I felt the feels like, oh, I need to go order more. But I should first wait till I get it, her first order in and see um, if it's as awesome as I believe it will be. So that will be happening soon. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about my own personal stash enhancement, which I... Is this my stash enhancement? Okay. So this is, I guess I could show you this too. So whip, this is a whip. Uh, you know, I'm doing um, Prairie Life and I'm also doing Here Lies My Needles, both of which are available in my shop. And I'm doing this Barbara Anna, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. I say this all the time and I every, I have to explain this to people. Do you guys understand what that means? A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. 
having, you know, having something tangible is so much better than this might happen for me. So I think that's how I perceive that saying anyway. But Barbara Anna, I believe this is out of stock. I have um, Kinder Ramblings. You're on the list for this, I know. It should be here today. It's amazing. And it I don't want to show you the chart, but I will tell you that it comes two copies inside, black and white and color, which I thought was awesome. I haven't done a lot of Barbara Anna, so that may be a normal thing, but I'll show you how much I did on this. And I already have the two other sows going on, plus more sows looming. Looming is a bad way to put it. Upcoming. But I just did a little teeny start on this. Well, you can see where I was at. The bird. The bird's head. I just did a little start on this because, and the reason I picked this up is I, I was kind of having a day. It's the end of the school semester for me. I am bombarded with projects. Let me tell you, Michelle texted me yesterday, Bendy Stitchy, and was like, I hope you're taking time for school and rest, which no, I haven't been. So that that's a whole nother story. But I just wanted to stitch a little bit and I, did, I just wanted to mo a monochromatic piece. So I didn't have to think about what color is this and switch out needles. I didn't want to do that. So I used this Victorian motto. It's kind of a wine color. It doesn't have a color, a color code on it because you can't see that. It was like a test batch, I think. And I buy so much stuff from Nancy. She threw it in in one of my orders. And I thought, this is beautiful. This would be perfect. So, and, it, and I'm stitching this on... Um, 36 count cream. 36 count cream is a Zweigart. It is um, Belfast, I think. But it's lovely. Yeah, don't look at my stitches too close because like I said, I was having a bad day that day. So that's my whip. I haven't made any more progress on Prairie Life or on here lies my needles because I had two nights where I was doing homework until 7 o'clock, then I ate dinner, then I took a shower, and then, yeah, I was, like, ready to pass out and didn't stitch a thing. I've talked about these before. Donna Ray has talked about these. People ask me, what do, how do I stitch? I sew in a duchess hoop, and this one I was really fortunate to get in pretty good condition. Um, I use the sewing method more often than not. Occasionally, if it's confetti-ish, then I then I stab. But I use the sewing method a lot. I use a duchess hoop with my fabric tension somewhat loose. I do have tons of Q-snaps. I have a Lowry stand, which I love. But this is so lightweight. And I can hold it close to me, and I can just go right to town. Um, my Dutch, my, my Q-snaps I put on my Lowry stand. If you haven't purchased a Lowry stand, they are an investment, but you'll wonder why you ever spent time holding your cue snaps. I can tell you that because they make life a lot easier. And I love my Lowry stand. In fact, I'm surprised that Danny hasn't mentioned anything about it to me because I haven't touched it since I started using a duchess hoop. And I need to. I'll probably do it for Eliza Belcox because it's such a huge piece of fabric. I don't think I'll use my little duchess hoop. And when I use a hoop, I use a four or five inch hoop so that my hand can get behind most of it so that I can sew. So that's that. That's my whip. Here's my personal stash enhancement that has nothing to do with the shop. I do not have these charts on the shop, I don't believe. If you see something you love, email me, Instagram message me. I wouldn't message me here on FlossTube because sometimes people's comments get lost. I I'm going through comments and comments and comments and then I'll find one that I didn't reply to that I don't even know where that one came from. And then that I'm just saying. Instagram or email is the best way. So you guys know how I feel about put a bird on it. Look at this guy. Bird lovers, look up. This guy is so cute. This is a pattern, another itty bitty pattern from all through the night. So happy. And I love that it's sewing. I love it has a strawberry and I love that he has a thimble hat on. How cute. I love that. So I got that one. I got Little House, Needleworks. Mrs. Peepers, because she's got her glasses on. She's a big fat bird. Cute. This one. Love it. Love Bird by Jabco. 
I saw this in someone's Instagram framed almost exactly like this, I think, on the wall, and I was I died. I said, look how fat that red bird is. Look at that. Sorry about the glare. I'm experimenting with the lighting. And it comes with the buttons. I'm not big on putting buttons on stuff, but that's cute. So, that's happening. In the same put a bird on it vein, this is birds and berries. I want every one of these done yesterday. I love these. I don't know how I'm going to finish them. They're finished on as pillows on the back of the chart. I'm not a big pillow finisher. Who am I kidding? I'll probably just stitch them and throw them in a box somewhere and wish that they the framing fairy would come. I wish Teresa would come visit and frame all my stuff and bring her awesome Brad gun. That would be rad. And then, I don't know if I have this on the shop or not, but it's the Scarlet House Harriet Taylor 1842. Could you just die? Look at that. And I love that. This looks like my house, minus the fence. This kind of looks like my house. If if this were blue water, which I may, I may make that change. This would look like my house from the water, if you were looking at it from the water. So... Um, it says, whatever is worth doing at all is worth doing well, but it's impossible to do anything well without attention. Really? That's so true. I love this. So that's my personal stash enhancement that has nothing to do with the shop. If you liked anything you saw there, hit me up. I'll order it for you. I'll PayPal you first, but I'll order it for you. So that's my goodies. All right. Here we go. This is the part where you want a piece of paper, you want a pen, you want to pause, you want to screen shoot me. I don't care what you do. This is the stuff that's going to be, it's already listed on the shop. And you, if you're an everyday shopper, which some of you are, good for, good for you, me too, then you have seen it already. So if you've already been on the shop in the past 24 hours, today is Friday, April 20th at 11 a.m. If you've already been there, you've seen this before, have a great day. If not, get your paper out. All right. These are in no particular order at all. Literally, I just dumped them out of the box onto the, the table. This is Elizabeth's Needlework Designs for love of needlework. I have dreams of having one of these. There is one at my local um, vintage thrift store for $700. Not doing it, but um, it's a JP Coates, the one that they have, and it's in beautiful condition, and it has all the labels, but no, $700 is not happening. But this is cute. It's got notions. I like her charts. They're, they're not, you know, they're, they're easy to read. I like them. All right. Cricut Collection. Three Gables. So, in the Cricut Collection... Um, there are, I believe, three houses. I could be totally wrong, and you be which stitchers will know this better than me. I think there's three in this series. This one, the next one I have to show you, and Master of the Macabre, I think. I don't know. But they all look kind of similar to me. And they're the only ones that are available still for me to order from distributors, so I had to because birds. I love this. Does not come with embellishments, so if you want embellishments, you'll have to order those separately. And this is already on, has been on the shop for a while, but I got some more copies. And then this is Open House. So cute. Same. Same goes with the embellishments. Unless I tell you it has them, it doesn't have them. Um, I ordered Winter Wienerland. I do happen to know that this is out of stock because I just got alerted on my phone before I started this video that I sold all of the copies that I ordered. I, did, I have all these because I have a wiener dog. Pinky. Pinky Pinkerton. Um, but I didn't really know if you guys would have a ton of interest in these. So if you want to message me, I'll reorder. If not, they may ghost away from the site because they were really hot last Christmas and I think a lot of us who wanted them got them. But just let me know. If you love Kathy Barrick and you love ha Halloween stitching, look up now. Halloween greetings. This is not a new chart. This is from, I have no idea when, because I didn't open any of it up. But I love it. So cute. Look at the spider web. I'm into this. I got several copies of this, so you guys are good there if you want that. I only 
only bought a few of these because I wasn't really sure. I, I don't think I would use this as a coverlet candle mat, but I would frame the heck out of that because it has a bird on it and I love the colors. Love it. It says it's stitched on 35 count linen from R&R, &R, 142 by 103. It only takes three gassed colors, country redwood, harvest basket, and wrought iron. But make it your own. Do whatever. You probably got some Victorian motto in your um, stash that would look amazing. This this would look great. So I think that, that those are going to go fast because I'm into those. And I believe that Yvonne... The Night Owl Stitcher may have shown this on one of her recent floss tubes because for some reason I ran and put it in my cart at the um, distributor because I was like, why don't I have this in my personal stash? So I bought a few extras because they're not supposed to travel by themselves, right? This is Heartland Sampler by the Scarlet House. Chicken, or rooster. Rooster, bird, puppy, cow, tree love everything's cute about this i like how this is spaced out honestly like you could rip through these motifs one at a time and really make some headway on this chart and feel like you're getting somewhere that would happen until you hit this barn and then coverage right but that's okay i love it i think this is adorable the little well ah love that and there's an american flag on it the city stitcher I ordered the Weeping Willow sampler last week and you guys sucked it up because they're super inexpensive at everyone's price point. This chart, I can't remember, I think it's like four bucks. And look how cute this is. This is Phoebe's, spelt unusually, Forest. I love her. These remind me so much of the current trees that I'm stitching on Prairie Life, well that I finished with. But I love this. These charts, the City Stitcher charts, this one was printed in, I looked this up earlier. I want to say it was like 1990. I don't see it on this. Might be one of the other ones I have. But very economical, nice. Nothing wrong with a chart that doesn't cost $20. Throw it in your stash. Cricut Collection, Bewitch Stitchers. Check it out. Witching time. Now, I'm I'm into this chart with one exception. I don't like the face on the clock. So for me, I'm going to stitch this probably in Victorian motto. I'm going to leave everything alone except for I'm going to just put hands on the clock, I think. I don't think I'm going to do the cheeks and the face. Because to me, that, that kind of... I mean, if you're into that, that's cool. But I think for me personally, that's the change I'll make on that one. And I'm re pretty new to the Cricut collection, and y'all, DMC colors, but there's a boatload of them on every chart, like a lot. Bee lovers, honeybee sampling, little house needlework. What it needleworks? What is not to love about that? Quick, fast, cute. It only has. Six colors, three DMC, three classic color works. The classic color works are hazelnut, peapod, and gingerbread. And if you don't have those, you've got something close, I'm sure. So I love that. Little House Needleworks. 12 Days of Christmas, because it's never too soon to start thinking about Christmas, especially with Mania coming up, right? I love this. I like the little people down here. The little people and the birds. Cute. Now this one is all dolled up by Little House Needleworks. 69 by 69. So if you're a new stitcher and you're asking me what could I stitch that's not too tough, this would be okay. Queen Bee. So cute. Love that. Uh, okay. I may have showed, I, sh I acquired this chart for my own self a while back, and then I just bought some for the shop, because Kathy Barrick, and look at how cute this is. This says, myself, I myself am made entirely of flaws stitched together with good intentions. Amen. I love this. This will be a quick stitch, too. 
It's pretty, it's 112 by 110, but it'll move, it'll move quickly. I don't even need to say anything about these. I just keep trying and occasionally they send a few. So there you go. Spring Smalls, two. That's already been shown. The mailman just did a drop off, so probably hear the door bang in a second. I haven't shown this yet. Donna Ray is doing a stitch along with her friends on this. I have a few copies. Plum Street, Friends of the Heart. And if you are a Hands Across the Sea fan, check out my community page. That's all I'm going to say about that for right now. I'll talk more about it later. But Nicola Parkman did a whole discussion on the, what makes what what the difference between a stag and a heart is. You you should go watch that if you're interested. There's a bird. There's another one. There's a fox. This is adorable. I like the colors in this. I didn't I didn't add that to my own stash because let's be honest, it's going to take me 25 years provided I don't have lose an arm after my th three elbow surgeries and carpal tunnel and all that stuff. So, yeah. That's already been on the shop. Some of this stuff is just restock stuff and I literally just dumped the box out, so I'm going through it. Oh, this is a new one. Country Cottontails, Scattered Seed Samplers. I love this company. I love their charts. Bunnies. So cute. Got a couple of those in. Little House Needleworks, Simple Joys. Simple Joys, Simple Life. I love that one. Very, very cute. There's purple on it. Cross stitchers don't like purple. I don't know what is up with that, but it's a thing. People run from pur anything with purple. I have seen this on a ton of, sh a ton. Quirks and Stitches, I think, is the name of her floss tube. She showed some amazing charts. I need to link her below. Maybe, if I don't forget, I will. If not, I love your channel if you're watching me. If you're watching me, no, I love your channel. I love your channel anyway. Annie B's. God Save the Queen. I'm a little um, daunted by the honeycomb because Backstitch and me do not get along, but it's worth it for this. I love it. I love the colors in this too. Purpley gray. Pewter. Pewter gray, it says. Pet a bird on it. Little teeny chart. Six bucks. And everybody's budget, just about a bluebird. Now, this, here's the thing with this chart. So, it says it's stitched in only three colors, bamboo, bamboo, cupid, and tartan plaid. I went and looked at tartan plaid online, and it looked like a greenish color. So, I don't know. I'm going to Victorian motto the heck out of this, I'm sure. But if you're new to stitching and you like birds, quick, easy, not a huge commitment for buying a bunch of floss. Love that. All right. Hold, please. I gotta tell you about this next chart. All right. When I was watching market videos, I was completely and totally into this new company, well, new to me company, not new by any stretch of the imagination, called Tellen Emblem. I need to do more research about this company because I'm in, I mean, her, this lady's charts are gorgeous. Birds, Christmas, all the different kinds of things, not just birds, but I bought two two different ones for my own stash and I stocked a few in the shop to see what you guys thought about them because you don't love everything I love, but these are gorgeous. So they're, they're charted all with DMC. They come with the embellishments. Will you look at that? There's one of the embellishments and you can see them right here. Three buttons and the emblem. So the three buttons are in the middle of the point of the poinsettia and then there's the emblem if you didn't want to do the buttons or the emblem you don't have to but it's all DMC I mean that red bird I love this and it's only 88 by 88 so that shouldn't take me I should get that done by Christmas right we don't know here's the companion piece to that called winterberry there's 
comes with the embellishments. So these aren't these are sixteen dollars, which is a little pricey for a chart that's eighty eight by ninety, but it does come with the embellishments. It is a very easy to read, well done chart. It calls for DMC and Krennic. I probably will just do DMC or Victorian Motto. Stay tuned for more by this lady to come to the shop because once I saw these in real, I saw them on videos from Market, but once I saw this in real life. I can't imagine how beautiful this is going to be. So this is happening. This was out of stock forever at the distributors. Recently restocked. Jardine Purve, the Four Seasons. So you can do this in one piece as shown here, or you could do each globe in a little small frame and put them up every season. Winter, autumn, spring, summer. Beautiful. So those are available after long awaited. This was a special order for a customer, but you know, they can't travel alone. So I got us a few extras. Spring Quakers, Danny's home. I'll have part two, cause he's fixing to come in here and make a ton of lists. So I'm gonna stop at Spring Quakers. I'll come back for part two. Love you guys, be back.